Last night, on last night's Oprah Winfrey special, Shame, Blame, and the Weight Loss Revolution, she shared her mission to help change the conversation about obesity and how she struggled with her weight in the spotlight. Take a look. Mm. For 25 years, making fun of my weight was national sport. Oprah, fatter than ever. Oprah hits 246 pounds. Final showdown with Stedman sends her into feeding frenzy. Oprah warned, diet or die. So, in an effort to combat all the shame, I starved myself for nearly five months and then wheeled out that wagon of fat that the internet will never let me forget. And after losing 67 pounds on a liquid diet, the next day, y'all, the very next day, I started to gain it back. When I tell you how many times I have blamed myself because yeah. you think I'm smart enough to figure this out yeah. and then to hear all along, it's you fighting your brain. Yeah. So do you agree that more people are finding hope and taking the weight more seriously as a health issue? Is this a new issue or is this something that uh, women in particular, but men as well, have been facing mm -hmm. forever? Because, you know, I, I will say, I will tell you, you know, I, I weighed almost 300 pounds when I made till. Yeah. Mm -hmm. really? And, yeah. yeah. And I was, I had taken all those steroids, I was on all this stuff, and one of the things that's helped me drop the weight is the, is the, not Majolica. Munjaro. Munjaro. Yeah. That's yeah. what I use. <clears throat> what does Oprah use? I, I don't know. She, I don't know that she uses, used anything. She, she was does doing for it all. now, though. She didn't say what she uses, but right. she did indicate that she has used these weight loss medications. Mm -hmm. And what, what I got a, uh, from it, I have a similar story. You know, during COVID, I gave 40 pounds. I was horrified. 40? 40. All I did was eat arroz con calamare and rice. You know, I mean, really? I, was, I love to cook, and I found out I love to eat. And I was horrified by the fact that I would have to come out on air. I was. Mm -hmm. And so I also took Manjaro. Mm -hmm. And I got all these nasty emails and things. And, what you they know, say? You're too, you're too, too skinny. Oh, and, too skinny. And you, why did you do this? And you're taking the drug away from diabetics and, and things like that. And so there is shame when you've gained weight. And I had, I had never experienced that kind of shame before. And what I love about what she said is, Obesity is a disease, yeah. right? It's a disease. And, and so when people are saying things to those that... Well, wait a minute. How is it a disease if you just were eating everything? I didn't have the disease. No, I didn't, didn't have to say she was eating everything. But, but for, for Americans people, were clinically obese. Yeah. Americans oh, that are clinically yeah. oh, oh, obese. But not for you. I wasn't a clinically no, okay. obese. No, I was but she, but 300 pounds. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, I was just I never 40 that. pounds yeah. heavier. And um, <coughs> what, what I will say is... If someone has diabetes and they're being treated for diabetes, it's fine. When someone has cardi, you know, some sort of cardiac disease, that's fine. They're not shamed for it. But when someone is obese, they are shamed for it. I found that my cholesterol went up to 200 oh. when I gained the extra weight. And I used Manjaro, and my cholesterol is 140 now. Yes. I feel better. I think I look better. And that's what this is about for yeah. people. Right. Well, and Sunny, it's, she spoke a lot. Oh, you can pod that. Um, she talked a lot about shame, and the part that bothered me is we know there's so much shame with weight gain. It's like one of the last <coughs> remaining taboos. Mm -hmm. People yeah. will complain about who sits next to them on a plane as if their journey in their own days isn't hard enough, yeah. and you've got one little flight with you. You know, like So I see it, but there's also been a shame on the other side, which I think she's also alluding to, with yeah. people taking these drugs. There was a shame, a guilt that she could control it on her own, yes. and yet she couldn't. Mm -hmm. And I think I look at even her yo-yoing. They say yo-yoing is worse for your health. Yeah. And that was her whole story was always this weight. And it defines, it's so many of us, but the problem is it is an epidemic. 40% of our country is obese. 40% yes. of our country. That obesity then leads to all the other health care problems. We watched as Biden passed right. this bipartisan bill on uh, reducing the cost of insulin. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we wouldn't need that insulin reduction if not so many people were on insulin, which means if they were not as Overweight or obese. Heart attacks and heart well, yeah, disease. So you look at it all, and I think the point here is that we, the body focus needs to stop. You're damned if you're obese, and you're yep. damned if you lose weight, and you don't look yep. like well, everyone else. Maybe the key is to stop judging everybody. Yeah. By their maybe appearance. That's the, yeah. maybe, yeah. that's the, maybe that's the key, because, listen, 
when I realized how much I had put on, I because I never, it, I felt I just always felt like me. Yeah. And then I saw me, and yep. I thought, oh. <laughs> That's a lot of me. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I, my weight has gone too. and come and gone and up and down. And, but it's, ne it's never been an issue for me. I, okay. Because I don't listen to what other people say about me. Yeah. So it has never been a problem. But I think it's very hard for people to just know what yep. a normal weight would be. Mm, yeah. you know, because well, we don't, we, we went right. from this, yep. you know, to, to, Twiggy. to this. Yeah. And, yeah. Everyone had something to say, but no one said, oh, well, how you doing? Yeah. How you doing? Because yeah. it's, it's, it involves so many other things, and I think that it is a matter of how we treat ourselves. Mm -hmm. Well, can I give a historical perspective you on may. this? You may. So, because not about the health, because health mm -hmm. is separate from what I'm going to say. Right. Mm -hmm. About style. Mm -hmm. Because mm. if you read history, during the Renaissance period, yes. an obese woman was a model. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. They liked them. Big and chunky they in were those days. Sexy. Because, well, and they were considered, you had money if you had food. Eat. The yeah. rich people <laughs> in those days could eat. The poor were skinny because they, they were suffering from famine. Now, rich people are skinny, poor people are heavy. And that's what, and so every, it's true. I mean, because of the processed foods that people have to eat because yeah. they don't have the money, they have to go to McDonald's, whatever. Not that there's anything wrong with McDonald's. Right, right, right. But if you do it as a steady diet, it does not help you. So the style has to do with eco the economy. Mm -hmm. The rich are fat, the poor are skinny, and the opposite. And so we are in a period where the rich are de deciding what we should look like. Yeah. Well, so I... don't pay that much attention to the style of it, is what I'm saying, because it really doesn't have to do with you. The it has to do with the economy. Constantly well, that's the but thing. One, one thing, the single Thank you. biggest... Well, I, I know about this, because yeah. I used to date Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> right. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, the single biggest factor in determining <laughs> weight and if you'll struggle with it in your life is genetics. Yes. So what she said that yeah, was so that. important is eliminate the shame from it. I will struggle less with weight because of my genetics, although that could change later in life. It's someone else who Sadly, may struggle their whole life. Later well, it life. will. I'm, I'm, oh, no. For what's worth, I struggle with my weight and body image. I think every woman does. I think being on TV challenges. Well, have you ever but been taking, heavy? No, but I think oh. that we all have I these perceptions. I wasn't until I turned 50. Yeah. But well, I do want to say this on these drugs. These could end up being miracle workers yeah. for the health of this society. So think about it. We do have an obesity epidemic. Kara Swisher on her podcast talked to uh, Professor Scott Galloway about mm -hmm. this. And they were saying within 10 years, it could end the obesity epidemic. Yep. It could also drive out of business these fast food uh, restaurants. Yeah. That, listen, it's not bad to go to from time to time, but it is killing Americans to go to them. But they also so, may have benefits for addiction. So for drinking yeah. and illness. Yeah. So I'm really curious to see, but they have to get the affordability. Yeah. The price so wait a down. minute. Right. If everybody does these drugs and everybody's skinny, we'll then we thin. can all be fat again. <laughs> right. Yay. It, won't, it won't be chic to be skinny anymore. <laughs> right. That's right. Well, you know, it's again, it, you have to like, you have to take responsibility for yourself and see what's going on with your body. Yeah. Yeah. You have to, and there's nothing wrong, stuff happens. You know, you hit a certain age and everything falls to the it ground. Sure it does. Yeah. You know, you just pick it up, put it over the back of your, <laughs> and Move keep on. it moving.